Just goes to show that there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow It's a dream come true for you and me So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Just a dream away Well, it's another Halloween here in the fabulous 40s. Everything is better than ever now. And we've got some amazing new wonders around the house to prove it. For instance, our refrigerator holds more food and ice cubes. And thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> Later, boy. Oh, and here's something else that's new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, We've got something now called the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. I drive into the city for work all day and then turn right around and drive all the way back. And the highway is crowded with fellow rats doing the same thing. That's what they call progress, dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? Guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. Are you awake, dear? <laughs> Give him a left, you big lot. Ah, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jet lantern? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> Down, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always kidding poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. Oh. You hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all a rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent, at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. As I was saying, Pat, I think college is really swell. You should give it a try. Oh, Patty, are you going to the Halloween party tonight? Oh, yes. And I'm hoping to lose a few more inches by then since I'm going to bet dream boat Wilfred. Wilfred? What a slug! He's coming as the headless horseman. <laughs> it fits. Come on, Beth. That clawed hopper Howard you're going with is no cracker jack prize. Oh, poor Howard. I wonder what they said about me when I was dating Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky, Rover. You don't have to date. Well, we're caught up in the do-it-yourself craze these days. We're remodeling our basement of something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses, I'll tell you, as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint-stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you care. Oh, good old Sarah. Always the last laugh. <laughs> what happened, Sarah? Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my rump. I grew up the room. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow's just a dream away
Isn't it a pleasant holiday? Now our turkey's in the oven, it's peaceful and quiet. Yes! 300 points, my best score yet. Well, it was peaceful until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Whoa. All right, here it comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell the refrigerator and bring me a root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Three lights, 30% brighter. Ooh. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice activated stuff. Watch it. Rover. John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right, Dad. You gotta lose them, Grandma. Bank to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? <laughs> yeah, that thing really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Oh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe you all the new gadgets they've got now. You know in my day. Oh no. You're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even have a car phone. Hey, Trish. For a while we didn't even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs and high depth TV. Everything's automated today, including well, including that. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. Anyway, you guys don't know how good you got it nowadays. You know, my grandpa told me the very same thing when I was a kid. Take that, you nincompoop! Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow, 975? <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's gonna be so automated you won't ever have to.